let's learn how to add a gradient to multiple objects without making a compound path in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. So on the canvas I have a collection of objects that are ungrouped. I have individual graphics here and I have some text here. So in my gradient slider I have created a gradient and then if I pull out my swatches very quickly, selected that gradient and click new swatch, and I have saved the gradient here. Now I want to apply this gradient to these multiple objects on the canvas, but watch what happens now in the current state if I add it. So with the selection tool, let's click and drag over all the objects. So my fill is black. If I apply this gradient, as you can see now, it's applying the a gradient to every individual object, not together seamlessly, and also it's not applying it to the text. So instead of selecting all with selection tool and come into object, compound path and make, instead select all with selection tool, right click, create a group of all the objects and elements you want to apply the gradient to, come to window appearance, just going to put my swatches back into the sidebar. Now to the group, apply a new fill and in the fill apply the gradient that we saved earlier and as you can see now if I zoom out it has applied the gradient across all the elements in the group. I can now adjust the gradient by coming back to my gradient panel pressing G for gradient and watch now if I click and drag I can create a brand new gradient and it seamlessly moves across all the elements in the group so I can use a straight gradient, I can use a radial gradient and I can change this accordingly. I can also make changes to the colors on the gradient slider here. I can also change the position of elements within the group. So if I come to my direct selection tool, my group selection tool, let's double click to select the text and come back to the group direct selection tool. And then if I click and drag, then I can move this text through the gradient. And as you can see, the gradient is changing as I move the position of the text. So there you have it. That's how to apply a gradient to multiple objects in Illustrator without using the compound path method by creating a group, applying a gradient swatch to the group in the appearance panel, and then using the gradient panel to control and make changes to the gradient. I really hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.